Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us here. We have a lot of outboard fun here, so thanks for stopping in. Um, well, we finished up the little repairs on the Yamaha 15 two-stroker. And uh, going to get that one back out to work. And I've been wanting to get back on my hum, hum. I want to get back in good graces with the outboard spirits. You understand? So I've been wanting to get back on the spirit. I got my impeller in for it. Um, so I want to get that in there. But before I could do that, I had to do something about the condition that that lower unit was in. Get it all cleaned up, purdied up. So we're going to do that. Um, but in the meantime, I had some other things kind of crop up on me, you know. You know, little things like, you know, your truck breaking in half. You know, standard stuff. So, uh, we're going to get into that a little bit. The old Danger Ranger. Um, then we had a little, just a little spell of good weather there. And, uh while I was trying to get my truck unbroke in half, um, I had things like, you know, lawnmowers, weed eaters, that kind of thing show up. And uh, in order to work on those kind of things, I need my work table outside. I mean, I got a stand for like the, the trimmers and all, but I, I, my table's important to me out there. Because if you've been watching my channel, I do a lot of stuff on that table. And so, I try before every season to get my table squared away. So, I uh, might dive into a little bit of that. Who knows? Um, but I really want to get back on the spirit and get some stuff done on that. And, as always, you never know what's going to show up at this little shop. So, while we got a little break, let's get to it. Well, we all know what it means when I wear this hat. It means that somebody came bearing the gifts. So, it's Christmas in April. Let's look. Well, there it is. A cutie little Zuki 15. Has good compressionis. The lady called and said, We are selling 
our, or we sold our aluminum skiff, small aluminum work skiff, and, but the fellow we sold it to, he got a brand new little kicker for it, a little five horse. And she said, we have a little 15 horsepower that was on it that's been hanging off the back of it for several years. It ran perfect when we parked the skiff there. And she said, you can have it. She lives just down the street from me, not even probably five, six blocks. She said, if you come get it, you can have it. But you have to take the little gas tank, the hose, and, and the parts with it. I think there's a, some parts with it. So I said, I'll be right down. And got the little Suzuki, plus a little three-gallon gas tank, a hose, and an extra propeller. I said, yep. I'm your Huckleberry. So, not a bad-looking little engine. You know, it's been sitting, it's got the Kodiak crud, but inside it's pretty clean. Little white powdery there, you know. Might be a creepy crawly. 100 to 1, that's a lie. That's a lie. We'll scrape that off of there. It's Christmas in April. And it don't look much like April. Wait, wait, wait. April showers? Yeah. April showers. They didn't say nothing about the 30, 40 knot winds that come with it.
by Joe, I think I got it. There's the bed. Listen up. Sorry about the wind. It's just been brutally windy. Hopefully you can see. Oh, looky there. That's just a sp spare tire cup. The problem is, now this frame, I've welded as you can see, and the frame, I'm going to do more, but the problem was, the problem was, is, not the shock, well the shock shot too, but the shock mount. On a Ranger, one goes forward, and one comes aft, like, yeah, like that. And right in here was the, the mount that holds the shock on the inside, and that rusted away. So I'm going to go through a lot of it. Oh, that's bent down. It's still, oh, it's broke loose too. So I'm going to go through and beef the whole thing up. Diablo Dos Diablo Two Nasty. can see that frame is rotten and 
So I added some steel on the side there, on the shock mount up there, across the back back here. Uh, yeah. The old Danger Ranger. And then I built a bridge going all the way from the back shock or leaf spring mount all the way across and then I built this whole front leaf spring joint there where I could get the leaf spring back on and uh, she's rotten and uh, ended up being a little more work than I thought it would be but I'm just about there I got some brand new shocks to put on it but first I got to make a shock mount for this side because it's rotted off when the leaf spring went all the weight was riding on the rotten shock mount and it went so just a patch job on the old danger ranger Kodiak up here it just eats them alive well, there's the finished product before the bed goes back on. I even wrapped the throat, the fill pipe, with pipe wrap. So I don't have to deal with that. But I put good steel in anywhere I could find. New shock mounts built. You can't see the other one, it goes forward. But there's the Danger Ranger. Good for a little more. Well, there's the old Danger Ranger. I got the uh, bed back on, dents and all. But she sits pretty nice and straight and level now. And took her for a test drive, and I didn't feel any vibrations or anything. The frame's all patched back together. The bed's back on. And the tailgate opens nice and shuts nice, so... Little more mileage out of the old Danger Ranger.
See all them rust stains? That's what I'm trying to get off of there. Just most of the rust stains. Well, that's coat number two. It just sucks it right up. Um, after I put the first coat, it uh, just like right over there, you can see a little dry spot right there where my finger is, right there. That was wet just a, a minute or two ago, and it'll it'll do that. It'll just start sucking that oil up, and uh, you'll get these splotches dry splotches all over it where it just the wood just sucks it right up and uh, i don't know for sure but being how well this table holds up out here i would say that that's probably teak wood because this table's over 10 years old out here in the weather and i do this once or twice a year to it and it just keeps going
looks like that's about all we're going to get done in this video. Got, a, like I said, a lot of little things I needed to get taken care of and uh, getting caught up on that stuff so I can get back to outboards and get ready for my season here because I'm hoping this weather changes drastically and gets much improved so we can get out for some boat rides because we got boat motors that we got to run that we did during the colder couple of months um you remember the mercury with the broken into drive shaft that we welded up we got to run that one you remember the 2000 and Five, I think it was Bombardier Johnson 30 horse that we put an 89 flywheel electric start charging system and an 89 carburetor on there. We got to get that one on the back of the boat and get it. We did a Tahatsu, bless you, 18 that I want to get out for a ride. Um, what else did we do? We did more than that. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let me look at my rack out there. Na, 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 Well, I know there was more than that out there. Um, but anyway, we got five or six outboards that we still haven't even taken out for a test run. So I'm hoping the weather gets uh, nice and I can get my wheel bearing repacked on my trailer for my Bay Runner skiff and we can pop some of those engines on there and get out there and give them a test run and maybe do a little fishing while we're out there so hopefully the weather will get nicer here and we're coming up on May pretty quick so that's what I hope to get done and this one's probably getting a little long so we are going to call that a wrap on this one. And as always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.